What's going on guys? It's Silver Guitar 2586 and today I have a little bit of a story to tell you guys. <clears throat> and it's about Monsanto. A lot of people will say the Illuminati uh, controls the world and you know, that's not true. The Illuminati is just like us. We're regular people. Um, we ain't the rich elites. Even look at Adam Weishaupt's uh, you know, upbringing and uh, what he was trying to do. So, we've got that out of the way. And once you know that, you can understand that banks and uh, big interest groups control the world. Monsanto is a poison company. And they produce poison to uh, <clears throat> kill and eradicate things. Raid, Roundup, these are some of the products Monsanto has. And now uh, that Monsanto um, is uh, getting into food, that's what I wanted to talk about. Watch the movie called A Patent for a Pig. And in uh, A Patent for a Pig, Monsanto has just recently genetically engineered uh, farm animals. But, what's up guys, the farm animals are genetically engineered by Monsanto and the side effect is that you'll go sterile from eating the food. Same goes with the genetically engineered uh, corn, that's population control. And we have a poison company that owns all of it. A lot of people will tell you this isn't true, this is a conspiracy theory, uh, don't, don't put your mind to that. But it is all true. Um, there are some people working hard to try to get, you know, the patents for farm animals and natural genetics um, relieved. I mean, there's no real right that farm animals and such should uh, be owned for intellectual property. Uh, I don't think anyone has the right to you know, own intellectual property for animals, human beings. I remember <clears throat> when George Bush first came president, he was against stem cell research, but he lobbied for Monsanto. And uh, when he lobbied for Monsanto, uh, he got, you know, genetic engineering passed for fruits and vegetables. And things like these. <clears throat> which totally goes against stem cell research because now they're using, you know, genetics. There's a uh, gene that they've patented for pigs that consider pigs particularly meaty. I don't know about you guys, but every pig that I've eaten has been particularly meaty. <laughs> so, when you got a... <clears throat> farm animal, what's next? We're next. A lot of people say that this Alan Watt stuff, they don't know, this isn't true. A lot of people don't uh, tend to agree with Alan Watt, but as far as this goes, there's all the research and documents available for you guys to uh, prove it to yourself. Um, I've noticed lately that <clears throat> We're so brainwashed as a society, people are more worried about television shows and, you know, video games and trends than uh, anything else. And sports, too. I'm also a victim of watching sports. And it does, uh, you know, block you guys from, you know, worrying about the important stuff. If you're going to sit down and watch the game. Now, I'm not telling you guys what to do. Um... I'm just letting you guys know. <clears throat> I'm sure most of you guys know already. But there's several of these large groups, um, including media groups, that don't want you guys to know this. They don't advertise uh, GMOs, <clears throat> you know, and uh, what the harmful effects of genetic modification is uh, because it's not natural. They did uh, lab studies with this uh, Monsanto corn, 
and fed it to feeder mice and the feeder mice started to develop cancer uh, it went sterile and some of them even died from eating the corn this is not <laughs> what type of food you need to be feeding to your family or feeding yourself for that matter um, the big push for this genetic uh, engineering was to cure world hunger and what they uh, instead of you know feeding everybody who's hungry they're just going to eliminate the populations I, I know Bill Gates is huge into uh, sterilization he's a eugenics uh, guy he puts a lot of money into like uh, the Bilderberg group and he gives that money away to these groups so he can be protected and not us. Um, his father <clears throat> was uh, also like a person in Planned Parenthood. Now, you know, looking looking at Planned Parenthood, it's not a bad idea to plan out a family or anything like that if, if uh, that's what you want to do. But <clears throat> besides, you know, contraceptives, there's a bigger... Uh, push in this eugenics and <clears throat> they're using sterilization in Africa to sterilize Africans so that they won't uh, procreate this is not good um, there's you know natural law you have the right to to live and be born and have the rights that anyone else has. Uh, as far as eradicating a person, this is what's called a soft kill. If you're going to sterilize people because uh, you don't particularly like their genetics or anything like that, that's uh, very Nazi. <clears throat> the Nazis did this, but it's important to, to note that the Nazis developed their eugenics program from America. Uh, we sterilized the Native Americans and uh, put Native Americans on reservations, similar to con you know concentration camps. Gave them the worst land, the hardest place to live, and this isn't good either. So I just wanted to bring you that little tidbit. I'm going to put a link to a movie you can watch called "A Patent for a Pig," and. In this movie, they don't really go over Monsanto too much, you know, noting that it's the group that <clears throat> makes poisons. <clears throat> so, I'm Silver Guitar 2586. Go check out that movie. I'm signing out.